This is AJ Harrison with UWBadgers.com. The number three ranked Wisconsin women's hockey team hits the road this weekend as they travel to Grand Forks to face number 10 North Dakota in a pivotal WCHA showdown. The Badgers look to extend their 15 game road winning streak as they face off against UND at the Ralph Engelstead Arena. I mean, it's a good feeling to go into someone else's rink and take three points away from them. So that's a really good incentive. I think it says a lot, um, obviously, it shows that not only can we come and bring great games at our home arena where it's full of energy and full of life, but on the road where it's not an easy team to play against, we can bring our own energy, create our own excitement, and come and bring back wins. Uh, I think everyone just gets what they need to get done at home in Madison in terms of schoolwork and preparing well for the weekend. And once we get up to wherever our destination is, I think we really hone in and focus. So. Um, in terms of being on the road, we just bear down and sometimes it's hard to play in other people's arenas, but I think we do a good job of creating our own energy. The Badgers are coming off of an impressive sweep in Bemidji as Wisconsin took the first contest 2-1. Katie Joseph scored her fourth goal of the year in the first period, while Bailey Wellhausen scored the game winner midway through the second as that marked her second collegiate goal at Wisconsin. On Saturday, the Badgers ended up defeating the Beavers 4-3 as Brittany Ammerman opened up the scoring in the first period, scoring her sixth goal of the season. Also in the first, Emily Clark recorded her fourth collegiate tally to give Wisconsin a 2-1 advantage heading into the first intermission. Sarah Nurse tallied her third power play goal of the year to extend the Wisconsin lead to 3-1, and Annie Pankowski wrapped up the scoring for the Badgers, tallying her second goal and her 12th point of her collegiate career. Wisconsin dominated the Beavers in the second game, outshooting Bemidji State 46-18. For our efforts against the Beavers, Bailey Wellhausen was named the WCHA Rookie of the Week, marking the third time this season a Wisconsin freshman has earned the award. North Dakota enters the weekend looking to rebound after being swept on the road at Minnesota. UND led the first game after Andrea Dowland tallied her second goal of the season. However, the Gophers countered with three unanswered goals before Tanya Eisenschmid recorded her first goal of the season. Minnesota added an empty netter late to defeat UND 5-2. On Saturday, Minnesota ran away with a 5-0 victory as the Golden Gophers outshot North Dakota 51-7 and Marianne Menifee tallied two goals for the Gophers. The Badgers still sit at the top of the WCHA standings with 18 points through eight league games while North Dakota currently has nine points through its six contests this season in the conference. The Badgers lead the overall series 39-6-2. However, the series has been close as of late as the Badgers have a 5-4-1 record against UND in the last 10 meetings. The Badgers currently have a 16-1-2 record all time in Grand Forks. The Badgers are ranked in the top 10 nationally in scoring defense, power play, and the penalty kill. UW also has the nation's fourth best offense, scoring an average of 3.80 goals per contest. Katie Josephs looks to continue her hot streak as the Wisconsin senior tallied a goal and assist against Bemidji State last weekend. She currently has four goals for the Badgers this season. Looking at North Dakota, Josephine Jakobsen has two goals and three assists for North Dakota, and she has 115 career points for UND. Also, Becca Kohler is off to a great start this year as she paces the team with 10 points through eight games. Um, well, the upperclassmen know what kind of team they are. Um, they have talented players. They always work hard. It's always close games with them, so we just need to make sure that we're outworking them out battling them uh, in every situation. They're a very good team. They're never, ever easy to play against for us. I think just for us it's going to be about habits, winning all our 50 battles, and keep playing our game. Uh, I think their defense is, is pretty good. They make it difficult for the forwards, and um, so we'll just have to work on getting the puck deep and focusing on, like I've said, the little things. With the Four Nations Cup next weekend, Canadians Blair Turnbull and Emily Clark will miss this weekend series as they prepare for the week-long tournament. 
UW freshman Amy Pankowski will miss Saturday's game as she joins the U.S. team that day. Former UW standouts Alex Rigsby, Hillary Knight, and Brianna Decker will also suit up for Team USA in the tournament. Looking at the goalies, Anne Renee Davian has only faced North Dakota twice as she suited up against UND last year at Le Bon Arena. After suffering a 4-1 loss to UND in the first game, she rallied to help the Badgers defeat North Dakota 4-1 in the series finale. UNDsports.com will have a video stream and an audio feed for the series. In addition, fans can follow the series via the Game Day Live blog on uwbadgers.com.